Welcome to our online training. In this module, we will cover how to create a custom symbol file from Excel and ASCII format. We will show where to save the custom symbol file and how to locate the symbol file so they can be charted in Metastock. We will also navigate to the Equus.com website and show the locations to some of the pre-built custom symbol files. Today's training is designed to instruct in some of the basics of Metastock and the downloader program. We will provide some guidelines for using certain features within the software. However, nothing presented in this training is intended as, or should be construed to be, a recommendation to buy or sell any specific security. The information, software, and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risks inherent in trading. Equus shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of their software, any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. After this training video, you should know how to create a custom symbol file for Metastock using either Excel or ASCII text file, where to save and locate the custom symbol files, and to locate pre-built custom symbol files on the Equus.com website. We will begin by creating a custom symbol list in Excel format. After creating it in Excel format, we will save it as a CSV format, then rename it to have the .SYM extension. Creating a custom symbol file is easy and a convenient way to have a portfolio of specific stocks to use. To create a custom symbol file in Excel format, there is a specific way to format the Excel spreadsheet. Metastock cannot use multiple sheets within an Excel file. To ensure your custom symbol file works properly, use one sheet of your Excel file when creating custom symbol files. To start creating a list in Excel, open up an Excel document. Go to cell A1 and click the cell. The format for the custom symbol file is security name, symbol, and exchange. The only mandatory field is symbol. If there is no exchange information listed, Metastock will default the exchange column to NA. If there is no name information available, Metastock will search its built-in symbol database and see if it can find a name match for the symbol. If a name match is not found in the symbol database, then it will use the symbol. A1 for this example, we will type in Walmart for the security name. In cell B1, we type in the symbol WMT. Next, let's add Google. In A2, we'll put in the security name Google. In B2, we'll put in the symbol GOOG. And finally, for our third one, in cell A3, we'll type in McDonald's. And in uh, B3, we will type in the corresponding symbol. There is not a limit to how many symbols you can use in a custom symbol list. After placing all the symbols you would like into the symbol file, we will now go through saving the file. Select File from Excel, Save As. This will bring up the Save As window. Using the drop down menu, we want to save this file under the Downloaders Installation folder. So go to Program Files, Equus, The Downloader. In the file name, we're going to go ahead and just name this file Training. and from the Save As Type options, select CSV, comma, delimited, and select Save. Say OK to any formatting messages in Excel. After the file has been saved, we need to rename the file to have a .SYM extension. Go to My Computer, the C drive, Program Files, Equus, the Downloader. 
If the file is already showing the .csv extension, you can right-click onto the file, select Rename, and change the extension to SYM. Say yes to any name changing confirmation message. Oftentimes, the extensions are not being shown on the files in this view. The Tools menu, Folder Options, the View tab, and make sure the option to hide extensions for known file types is unchecked and select OK. We will now walk through how to make a custom symbol list in ASCII format, which is a text format. In essence, it is structured in the same fashion as the custom symbol file we just created in Excel. First, open a new ASCII file in a text editor by going to Start. For this example, we'll use Notepad but you can also use Microsoft Word. Next, we will type in the list of securities to add to the custom symbol file. The format for the ASCII file is as follows. Company name, comma, symbol, exchange. There should be no spaces before or after commas, each individual security must be entered on a separate line in the text editor. The exchange and security name entries are completely optional. Since symbol is the only required field, it is the only information required. Let's enter one more symbol. A-P-P-L-E for the name Apple. The symbol is A-P-P-L and our exchange is NASDAQ. Next, we're going to select File, Save As. We want the Save In to be the downloader folder, like we did in our Excel training. So C, Program Files, Equus, the downloader. For training purposes, we'll call this Training 2. The file of type will be .txt and select Save. Next, let's close the file. Just like we did in the Excel portion of our training, we need to go in and change the extension of that text file. So select the C drive, Program Files, Equus, the Downloader. Since the files are already showing the extensions, we just need to right-click on the Training 2 file, select Rename, and replace your extension. Say yes to any renaming changes that you get. Now we can close out of uh, My Computer. Any time a custom symbol file is created, it needs to be saved under the downloader folder. The downloader folder is the location Metastock and the downloader pull the symbol lists from. When saving any type of .sym file, save it into the installation folder of the downloader, like we reviewed before. Make sure both Metastock and the downloader are closed and reopen in order for them to read the new custom symbol file. To access the new custom symbol file, let's open up Metastock. To view the new custom symbol files in Metastock, select File, Open, click on the Vendor button in the bottom left hand corner. For training purposes, that's Reuters Data Link. And you'll notice the new SIM files listed there to the right. Opening up the symbol files will display the symbols and the name and exchange if available based off of the training that we did earlier. There are additional symbol files located on equus.com. To view the different symbol files available, open an internet browser and let's go to www.equus.com. Select support from the top. 
technical support from the left, download updates, and then symbol lookup files. This symbol file page lists the specific symbol files that are available to download. Each custom file will show a date, which is the last date it was updated. There are also links for complete symbol database updates for different versions of Metastock. Any custom symbol files that are downloaded from the Equus.com website should be saved under the downloader folder. For training purposes, we will download and install the common indices file. Select Run from the File Download window, then Run again through the Security Warning window. Make sure the Unzip2 folder location is C, Program Files, Equus, the Downloader, which is the default. Now click on Unzip to extract the file. After one file successfully unzipped is displayed, click Close and close out of the WinZip extractor. Now let's go view the new symbol file in Metastock. To ensure Metastock will read the new file, we need to make sure that we close and reopen. Then select File, Open, Click on to the Reuters Data Link button, and on the right hand side you'll see the common indices SIM file that we downloaded from the Equus.com website. We have now covered how to create a custom symbol file from an Excel or ASCII text file. We have covered where to save and locate the custom symbol files. We have also shown where on the Equus.com website you can download some pre-built symbol files. We wish you wonderful success with our outstanding software.